questions to ask in any circumstances. In the previous discussion, we looked a great deal at time, uh, timelines, time processes, what time uh, focuses permitted and what time focuses foreclosed or did not permit to happen. Uh, Michael Hall's four, he calls them the, the Cartesian questions, uh, are what would happen if I did this, what wouldn't happen if I did this, um, what would happen if I didn't do this, okay, um, do this, okay, um, which is an interesting kind of inversion, and um, what wouldn't happen if I didn't do this. So, um, take any goal, anything that you believe is a worthy endeavor to commit a great deal of time, energy, resources to, um, and ask yourself, well, if I don't do this, what's not going to happen in my life? What's, what's not going to show up? So that, that gets very shifted into the future frame, moving from the, from the present to the future. Uh, uh, what wouldn't happen if I didn't do this? What wouldn't happen if I did do this? So I become the world's greatest guitarist. So I become the world's greatest guitarist. What's going to not be around? What's going to be invisible? What's going to be absent if I commit to that? What if I choose to commit to making $10 million? What's not going to be happening for me if I do that? What's going to be missing in my life? Um, which is very similar to the question, well, what's, what's not going to happen if you do this? Um, they're just kind of flipping that over. What will happen if I do this? So what are the positive, positive costs? But you could say even by moving to the future to the wills, what will happen if I do this could involve negative consequences. You know, maybe my uh, blood pressure will run so high that, that life becomes very short for me. However you structure it, if you're talking to somebody about what will happen if I do this, what won't happen if I do this, um, what will happen if I don't do this, and what won't happen if I don't do this, all presses, all presses toward the future. It all is moving you out of the present, into the future, in, in multiple ways of interrogation. So you're asking how that process of moving present experience into future experience might possibly unfold. There are a lot of Socratic questions. Uh, many of the, the very valuable forms of question, outcome questioning, will involve learning and helping that uh, person you're working with, if you're talking to someone else or yourself, learn the potentials, learn the possible different directions life and uh, conditions can take you when you make certain choices. And what sorts of assumptions, so that would take you, say, where you were, assumptions take you back into the past, you, you've assumed certain things, how will those assumptions direct that process of moving toward the future? So. You might say, if I, if I marry this person, what, what, what won't be happening? Um, if I move to a new location, what won't be happening? What won't, will not be available? Some people are only focused on the things that will happen, the, the things that will appear or show up for them, and they ignore all the things that won't be available. I think it's very, very important in a lot of project planning to consider, well, if we take this, this course of action, if we introduce this product, if we package things in a certain way, or we package ideas in a certain way, um, what a certain way, or we package ideas in a certain way, um, what, what will not be occurring if we do that? What will be missing if we do that? And if we don't do that, what won't be occurring, and what won't be appearing? So testing your ideas in four ways. What will happen if you do it? What won't happen if you do it? Um, 
What uh, will happen if you don't do it? What won't happen if you don't do it? Consider all four. That's five, four. Um, because all four are potential ways of the future appearing and disappearing before you. So think about those. Those could be powerful and transformative questions to ask in any circumstances.